person may be better off with a person, maybe not. They both bite your head off, whether it's a person or an animal. You know, the way animals are, you just have to accept them. You can't make any kind of judgments. They're run by instincts. You can't expect them to behave morally. I don't think. It likes to eat, it likes to have sex, and it likes food. Don't expect too much from a thing like that. Just take it for what it is. You know, it's not like a person walks around and can bite your head off, but don't take it personal. You can't make any kind of judgments. Becky, you gotta grow up sometime, but not now. from here? No, we moved here from New York City. Can you imagine that? Where are you born? Rhode Island. Oh, Rhode Island. But I grew up in Virginia as a little kid. Where do you come from, Luis? Uh, I'm from Argentina. 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 What's that See, here's so, Wendy's house. Oh, the Wendy, we're going to your house here? Right. Alright, this, is, a, it's not your, this isn't your building. studio though, right? No, this is the, the apartment where they put all the visiting artists. Oh, okay. Oh, Hi, George. Hello. I'm Anna Maria, and I'm from England. My name's Peter. Peter Spooner. What kind of berries are they? I don't know what they are. They're gorgeous, though. It's a wild, rushy day. Look at that. Ooh, look at all the colors in there. Do you see where it's yellow and orange? This is the cider we got out of the apple barn, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Pretty good. Now that was a great fall day.
Now that was a great fall day. We, it was gorgeous and sunny, but then that rain blew up so fast. It's raining. When are we getting the hell out of here? You want to go back? <laughs> yeah, I guess we better. Uh, good. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> so at least it's warm air. Is this the way Venezuela looks? Or? Uh, well, in the north part. Oh, yeah. They're just going to be cut out of fabric and sewn onto these squares. What's the weather supposed to be like? It's, it's supposed to rain, George. It was supposed to turn out to 82. It's going to be 33 and degrees tonight. And then rain. <laughs> <laughs> the sky is sort of blowing up like something. Yeah. yeah. You want to go to the zoo? Oh, yeah, let's go to the zoo. All right. Are you got to pay to get into the zoo? Oh, I think they're feeding the animals. We read this terrible uh, cookbook entry about how to how to make turtle soup. Cold water and then slowly bring it to a boil. And you, this is called a carapace, which has to be peeled off. Look, you know the way an animal is. It gets out of control and you just whack it across the snout. Look, Becky, an animal is run by instincts. It likes to eat, it likes to have sex, and it likes food. Don't expect too much from a thing like that. Well, it was when I was living in Indonesia, and I was riding down the street, and just looking around and happened to see this guy riding a bike by, uh -huh. and um, a snake came out and wrapped around him, and he fell off the bike, and a whole crowd came around, and it strangled him in a matter of minutes, killed him. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's a different feeling though in that area. That's something that happens quite a bit. But I, even the shock of the death, the thing that was more astounding was that everybody just went on with their life right away after it happened. So there wasn't... That's a horrible story. And this whole place was packed full of people. And all of a sudden this young girl, about 15, came out and she went into this trance. So people started lining up, uncovering their arm to get an injection to heal them for endiletus. So They're run by instincts. So I ended up being pulled up there. And what happens is this woman has this needle, the type that you blow up a basketball with, that she keeps in between her teeth. And she sticks it in everybody's arm and it goes back into her mouth. You feed it, you give it water, you give it sex, if, if you want them to mate. Oh wow, look at this. Oh god. Hey, listen to this. Doug, you're a really sweet guy, a good friend. I'm really glad I've gotten to know you at camp. I didn't really get much of a chance to talk to you at camp. This year, but I still think of you a lot. You're a sweet guy, don't ever change. You're great the way you are, love. Becky Davis, 